Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will find the duplicates and delete the duplicates using window transformation of ADF mapping data flow activity. So first we'll understand through the input data set what we are going to achieve and how it is related to SQL. So the same input data set I'm using which I have used in my previous videos where I've illustrated about duplicates, finding the occurrences and doing it in the normal way using aggregate. Now in this video we are finding as well as we have to delete it. So what happens is that in SQL we have analytical function row number. So this row number function through this row number function we can assign the numbers and this acts like uh, the concept which we have in aggregate as count function here we have row number where if the columns are to be assigned number on the basis of some partition we do it through row number function i'll try to demo it in the database also so in order to find it what we do we have a sub, sub query here where we are using this row number and the syntax of this function is row number over is the keyword and then we have to partition by so we are partitioning on all the columns which are incoming and then in the same one we have another uh, clause order by we'll do for all the columns and then we'll give it an alias okay and then there we used to do count greater than one here it will be that alias greater than one okay because it is fetching us the number okay so to find in order to find it we have this query so that the dupes will be found here and then in order to delete it we'll use the CTE okay and in the CTE we'll mention this uh, this inner query and in the outer one outside CTE we will delete that rn greater than 1 from that CTE so that all the duplicates will be deleted from the data set now we'll go to the database and here we will try to see the input table first so let's try to execute the first command so all data coming from the input data and the table name is input dupe table so you could see that it is having the same data set order id customer employee id order returns id all these things it has total seven rows and we can clearly see that the first row and the last row are duplicates and all the columns are duplicates okay considering all columns then in the fourth and the fifth row all columns are proving that it is a duplicate row next our task is to find that apply that row number function to get the id so i will only execute this inner query okay from this inner query we are applying this extra filter rn greater than one that's why this outer query is written so first we'll try to execute only the inner query well we'll select and execute so you can clearly see that we have got all the columns okay since we have applied order by so it is sorted so here we can clearly see that all the columns are added in the partition as well as order by so the columns are partitioned on the basis of all the columns so the columns are partitioned as well as sorted next is applying this row number this row number is sequentially giving numbers so row number is the column rn we have given it as an alias rn so this rn what it does as rn this alias column will be created here and what it does is on the basis of partition it will assign numeric values in increasing order numeric values okay so 10248 was there so it has assigned uh, 1 to it then again the same one it will assign 2 to it if there would have been a third occurrence of 10248 okay let's say three duplicate rows were there then it would have assigned 1 2 3 to it and next is the 10249 okay the order order id has changed now again row number will start from one because we have partitioned okay so this partition is there next is 10249 so it is 1 2501 251 one and there is another occurrence of 251 so hence from uh, after one it will be two incrementing by one row number so this is has given um, the row number to the input data set on the basis of their occurrence next job is to 
filter out all the rn which is greater than 1 okay so that we will get all the rows which are duplicated so here we could clearly see that these two order ids and the other columns constituted into duplicacy next our job is to delete those duplicate rows so on top of this original query which was from here till here where we have the row number function logic what we do is we'll apply the ct with ct as this complete query uh, and outside the ct delete from this ct so ct is this complete block and we are deleting from this block where the rn is greater than 1 okay so once again let's see the data which was there in the input table we have all these seven rows and we have found out this that 10248 and 10251 are duplicates so upon executing this query of deletion let's see what the data comes sorry we have to execute till here so execute it and two rows it says affected those two rows now again we'll execute this query and we can see clearly that those two rows are extra rows are deleted and we have accomplished the task of deleting the duplicates from the input data using row number function and the CT. So the same thing we will implement in Azure Data Factory using the data flow activity. So let's go to the data factory. Okay, so here uh, in the storage we already have this input data set in the form of CSV, loops input.csv, the same CSV we will be using as our source so we'll go to the data factory and here we'll create a pipeline let's say we'll write windows window duplicate and then we'll take the data flow activity and we'll name this two as window duplicate and we'll connect to the source first so the source lies in the storage gen2 account so we'll quickly browse to that location it's a csv delimited text we'll write it as window dupe input link service already in place first row has header browse to the location it's inside the test sorry 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 it was inside the test input folder as tubes input.csv click ok click ok so the source is imported we'll quickly try to preview it since the data flow debug option is already enabled we can quickly click on refresh and fetch the data so the data is fetched clear next job is to apply that logic of row number here okay so in order to apply that logic we have the transformation which I've already created a video on window transformation that will add okay so that transformation comes under the schema modifier section as window the name is window so we'll add this transformation here and it has in the window settings this configuration settings there are four settings we are more interested towards over sort and window columns so the over here signifies if we go here back it signifies this partition by whatever is partitioned by in this query is over okay so here we have added all the columns all the incoming columns we'll do the same here we'll add order id then we'll add customer id then we'll add employee id next we'll add order date again plus sign and then from the drop down add the last column so all the source columns are added in the over setting next comes sort sort here is order by okay the order by is again on all the columns so we'll go back and we will here select the columns same way plus sign add the next column then again plus sign add the third column again plus sign add the fourth column and 
and the last one fifth done okay now this is done we'll go to the window columns here and the range will leave it as is we don't have to do any changes here we'll go to the window columns and in the window columns we have to define the windowing function or the analytical function okay so here we have row number similarly if we here name the column as row number col there we have it as rn here we'll name it as row number col and the expression builder will search for this row number function okay we have this function here too in the adf so we'll select this function okay and we'll click on save and finish okay so what we did in the over same columns we added what we did in the sql normal sql partition by next is the sort which is ordering so the order by columns and next is windowing okay so in the windowing whatever is the function defined here had it been rank or dense rank we would have added that here okay now we'll go to the data preview so let's click on refresh to fetch the data so the data is fetched and you can clearly see that all the columns are there along with this row number col so we have sorted and partitioned it on the basis of all the incoming columns so that's why it is assigning it the row numbers so the first two one and two and then one 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 okay one single occurrence okay and next is is 10251 which is duplicate so number 2 is assigned to it and then 10252 is single okay this is done so this output which comes out of this window transformation is the same which this inner query fetched us for us in sql so, so here since we have used this where condition which is same as filter for us and delete we will use here the filter transformation next so that on the basis of this row number column we will filter only those row number cores which are equal to 1 so let's click on plus sign and then from the row modifier section click on filter okay in the filter let's go to the expression builder and we'll select from the input schema row number cole if it is equal to 1 then we are satisfied and we'll click on save and finish we'll go to the data preview and we'll try to see the output data so here we can clearly see that the rows which were having the value 2 are omitted and only the ones which are having 1 are shown here so in the output we are not interested to see this extra row number col so in order to remove columns we have this select transformation under the schema modifier section and it will show us the input columns here in the very first tab select settings so from the bottom we could see this extra column is shown here okay so that we will click on the delete button it will be deleted next we'll go to the data preview and again preview the data now the data looks fine now we'll attach the sync or the target so the sync this time we want a sql database table we'll write window loop output and let's say we'll copy the name of the data set and we'll create a new table with the same name so inside the db schema as window loop output click okay now we'll go again to the data preview and click on refresh to see how the data will look in the sync okay so the data looks fine next our job is to validate this mapping go to the pipeline and perform a debug run so the data flow is in progress once this executes completely we can go to the database and see the table with window loop output name is created or not so here is my database we'll click here on the refresh and wait for this data flow 
to succeed. So here it succeeded. We'll again go here and we'll look for the table. Okay, so it must be present at the last under the DBO schema as window dupes output. So right click, let's select the top rows and we could clearly see the five rows here. Okay, so these five rows are the same which we wanted in the output. Okay, after removing the duplicates. So we have accomplished the task of finding and deleting the duplicates using row number function. Okay, and the CT clause in SQL and the window transformation of data flow activity. Okay, so this is the best way to remove duplicates. And this question is often asked in the interviews. And we should always know because we have to perform the data quality checks and duplicacy is a major issue. I hope you've got the basic idea of the demonstration given to you today in this video for this window transformation. Thank you for watching. Happy learning to all. Bye.